All right, my lambs, welcome back. It's Halloween time. We are playing World of Horror. I'm doing a little challenge run. I'm gonna see if I can do something here. Like, what do we got here? Uh, yeah. I'll have to choose one experiment to put. Okay. That sounds tough. I mean, I'm not good at the game to begin with, but like, what do we got here? Uh, the seven curves, all additional actions, but rest are disabled for the duration of this playthrough. I can just rest? Ghost town? No one's around? Let's go. Let's dive on in. It's the missing stars. We're ready to go. Come and join me for this challenge run. Okay, we got safety in numbers. Very good. Uh, we need to get some friends. She looks so happy. Uh, we got skin removal, which is... That's great. Uh, yeah. Kind of messes up our brains, but you know. Uh, Alright, your family is cursed. Everyone around you will die. I start with the playthrough with funds, but you can't have any human allies. Okay, well this is going to be really bad. Uh, we have the wrong character for the wrong thing. Everyone's gone. We got skin removal. Let's, uh, let's dive right in, shall we? Perfect. Let's go. We didn't get anything. No goods there. Let's, uh... It's new artwork. I could do this. She looks so happy. Alright. Let's go and get some XP. Perfect. Uh, we are shocked at what she did. Her voice is so, so calm. Yeah, I'm also shocked about what she did. Take a look. Nice. Let us see what awful mysteries we have today. Crimson Kate. Rancid Ramen, Abnormal Arms, uh, Versus, Freakish Fable of the Frightening Flood, you know what, we're gonna go do some Versus. We're gonna go hang out with Virgil, shall we? Alright, official looking letter, doesn't look like a law from Tokyo from you. We regret to inform you the passing of our client and your grand uncle, his funeral will be uh, preceded by an overnight vigil, as per client's request. Uh, here's an address of the list of people expected to arrive. You don't recognize any names. Intrigued, you decide to check in, uh, check it out for yourself. What's the worst that could happen? Lots. Lots of bad can happen. All right, follow the directions uh, from the letter. You slowly find your way through an overgrown forest path. The old mansion looks like a torn and uh, rebuilt many times. It looked torn out and rebuilt many times. But where is everybody? For the mansion, unlock it. Let's get it. Let's take a look. Let's find some people. It's ghost town. Alright, you find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old locked cabin. You remove the book, wrapping your... wrapping... uh, the book's wrappings. You recoil in disgust, battling human flesh. I always read the book. Alright. Oh no. Your head swims with countless blasphemous voices. Plus doom, and we are panicked. It's tanged to see in a comment check. Okay. Beautiful, look at that. We're, we're all, we're panicked now. Uh, it takes some time, but you finally manage to find someone. Is it another guest? You should ask them what's going on here. Ooh, what's up, you two? A pair, a pair is standing to the window, a man muttering something to himself while his wife's observing. He with her unnaturally bulgy eyes. The body is laying in the master bedroom. You should pay your respects. Okay. Corpses swung on up on a or strung up on wire like macabre marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Oh, we we'll lose some we we'll lose some brain power. Uh, pressing a handkerchief to your nose, you enter the dark room. There's no way they allow your grand uncle to just lie here. What is the correct bow and clap? Maybe someone else will know. Let's uh, talk to two. All right, woman wrinkled nose, notices you, you swear you've seen the symbol engraved in your necklace before. Pretty sure it's on our shirt. Uh, you didn't get this with a letter. Here, take mine. Okay, let's go to the master bedroom. Let's do the... Okay. Uh, 9 p.m., start the visual. Prayer of the body, clap, clap, bow, clap. Uh, is 
What time is it? What time is it now? Uh, let's go to the... Well, clap, clap, bow, clap. Nice. Clap to the corridor. Uh, 10 p.m., 7 hours still on. Let's explore the thing. What do we have to do next? Uh, it is light up fireplace. All right, you enter an art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures. Bizarre masking from the one sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Check out the mask. Oh yeah, we got a funny mask. Uh, looks similar to the design you once saw in a cult book. Decide to take it with you. Let's resolve that event. Let's put on the fu funny mask. Stamina or reason at the beginning of a combat encounter. Cool. Yeah, I'll put the funny mask on. Oh, that's cute. I really like that. That's great. Um, let's light up the fireplace. Perception check passed. You spot some dry firewood and add it to the fireplace. We get some, yeah, there we go. All right, what next we gotta do? We gotta light up the fireplace, prepare the body. Clap, bow, bow, clap, okay. So let's, uh, we don't have to talk to these people, so we're just gonna go. We're just gonna follow the pamphlet to a T. The whole building begins to shake on your room. Suddenly, a pillar bursts through the floor where you stood a second ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a closer look. What do we have? There are lots of charisma. Um, let's tell you the symbols. We're dumb. Too dumb. You recognize the symbols, but they shift and change right before your eyes. Dizzy. You escape the room as blood oozes from your nose. Oh no. Ugh. Blech. Very good. Uh, it's midnight. You should pray, right? Yeah. 12 a.m. Pray over the body. Uh, clap, bow, bow, clap. Okay, let's go over the body. Uh, go to the bedroom. Body is missing. Let's go to the study. Huh. Where'd ev where did everyone go? Okay, well... For the corridor. Let us ignore all that. We're just gonna go keep on going to the manor. In the middle of the room, you see a man tied to a chair. You rush to help. When you remove the gag, though, the man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. You fall to the floor. Your mind flooded with unspeakable images as the man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. Cult member? Bondage boy. Alright. Well, let's, uh take a look at Bondage Boy here, and let's, uh, stab this. Oh, we have no weapon. No punch. We'll, we'll give him a couple kicks. Alright. No special skill. After an evil spirit possessed this man, his fellow cultists left him here to rethink the situation. Let's clear all that. We're just gonna get as many kicks in as we can. Very good. Give him some kicks. Nice. Let's pick it up. What do you get? A curious statuette. What's this? Puzzle with knowledge when held in inventory. Good. I will keep that in inventory. We managed to find one of the other guests. They are shaken, but otherwise safe. But we both decided to get the hell out of this place. The door is gone. What's up, man? All right. Uh, this reminds me of one of my books. Oh, one of my books. Um... Okay, 1 a.m., do nothing. We just... We have to feed the plant, right? Well, let's go feed the plant after. We'll still feed the plant. We can't bat, bow, clap, clap, bow, but... Investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. Absolutely, we will take a hot bath. There you go. You bathe happily and continue your refound strength. Nice. Burners twist and turn, trapping you in the mansion. You think you can hear the other guests somewhere. You should uh, take the risk getting lost yourself. All right, yeah, 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 that's good. Uh, we're going to go to the study. Uh, let's put a plant. You cut your hand and pour some blood on the soil. Hopefully it's enough. Did you like that plant? Still just those two? Creepos. All right, let's uh, explore the mansion. You feel watched. Let's leave then. You retreat from the room. Okay. Uh, the other guest is now safe with you. The whole building cracks and moves. Uh, you're scared of what will come next. What do we got here? We got the plant uh, in the study with blood. 
Cover the mirror in the storage room. Okay, let's go down to the storage room and let's cover the mirror. Take the wardrobe. Can we just cover the mirror? How do we cover the mirror? Oh, meet Cleaver. I'll clip that. Yes, please. Um, there's something in the study. We can't get anything in the study. Master bedroom, nothing in there. Body is missing. How do I cover it? Oh, whatever. Well, let's, uh, let's explore the mansion some more. Uh, cover the man with the room, storage room, nothing, and the vigil. Okay, well. You were st uh, startled when you discovered the headless body. You were horrified when you saw its head hanging in the middle of the room. Laughing. What's up? It's an anime head. We'll give that a look, see what's up with that head. Uh, we'll do a chop chop. Nice, okay. It's, it's an undead female. It's weak to fire. A grieving husband tried to reanimate his tragically lost wife. His spell worked partially, reviving just the corpse's hair attached. A detached head ripped out the throat mere seconds later. A classic Junji Ito story. Love it. Yeah, well, we're gonna do big slice. Big slice? Big slice, please. A bop bop. Come on, please, just. I know you're scared, but. There you go. Perfect. We'll pick it up. What do we get? We got black hair. What does that do? Use combined with sewing kit. Wait, use. Combines with sewing kit. Okay. Resolve combat. As the vigil's nearing an end, the whole mansion shakes more and more until the walls start collapsing, really the shocking truth of your whereabouts. All right, the walls of the corridor are craft, revealing an alien landscape. You can taste the blood in your mouth. The slimy appendage slowly gets closer. Uh... You just explore the mansion, right? No? Cast skin rule? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to... Sacrifice the guys. For some reason, your hand leaves and reach for the knife and stabs the surprise guest. We're doing it again. Uh, conclude the ritual. Nice. Uh, yeah. Well, we might have just stabbed two. The price is paid. The voice booms in your head as everything gets dark when you wake up. You find yourself lying on the white grass in old mansion. Uh, the old mansion, nowhere to be seen. Standing next to you is a naked, bloated old man. You recognize the tattoo on his toe of your deceased grandfather. Coarse voice, he explains the ritual. You try to keep up with him, but you're weak. And your head spins. The death toll must remain the same. To die, to survive. You feel like vomiting as the old man has cheated death disappears behind trees. Everything gets dark. I lose some reason because I didn't have my boys and girls with me. My pals, my pals did not want to come. But I can't keep pals because they die. So it's, it's kind of a strange little situation. Alright, but anyways, it's fine. The man who thought you thought was your uncle cheated death, making an accessory to a murder. Uh, you know the police officers won't believe you when you tell them the truth, and you do your best to forget the nightmares you left behind. I haven't got any better than C on this video, but that's okay. What are we stirring today? Uh, well, we could have sworn it's Monday. Alright, we just get some doom. A little doom time skip, that's fine. We're gonna go home. We're gonna take the key. Thank you for the key. Definitely gonna use the bathing mechanic to bathe up our reason. Get a little, get a little wicked smarter. And, uh, let's go on our way. Um, yeah, let's, let's eat some ghost ramen, shall we? The rotten report of, oh, the rotten report of, ran of rancid ramen. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. At a thin air, brandy ramen restaurant opens in town and enjoyed by everyone. What if people take a bite? They can't stop. Day and night, cues stretch out. The shambling customers see themselves with a dish, and a uh, blind owner sits in the corner, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes ramen so enticing. What's the power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Let's take a look. Alright, so, we're gonna go back home. We're going to rest. Get some doom. Get some power there. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna go and... We're gonna keep on... Going through these little events. Ah. Uh, that's what the picture is. We got something. That's something truly evil in our grasps. Alright. 
You see the restaurant through the staircase windows. You catch the, uh, watch the door for hours. No one comes in. No one comes in. All right. We found a weird tub. We always take the path. The water in the bathtub totally gets murky and dark. Are you bathing in blood? We should get plus two reason for that. Maybe you are. Uh, the only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. There's only one way to get into the restaurant yourself. Take a walk. Telephone sounds and multiple voices are too loud for you to ignore. When you enter the apartment, everything's pretty sad. Oh my god, it's Gossip Junkie. What's up, Gossip Junkie? Uh, uh, uh. What do we got? She's an eldritch female. Uh, she spent her life on the phone gossiping. It's only natural to continue doing it. Death. Get a, a big one. <laughs> Got her. Yeah. The gossip junkie is gone. It seems that you were not the only one wanting to try it for yourself. You stay in line for hours. Questions fall into our fears. Shun. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. <laughs> Do I just steal his gun? Um. James Wounds for clues. They didn't tear this out. Instead, they carved it in a cult symbol with something sharp. You try to remember the shape. You escape before anyone arrives. Good. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and. The blood you can smell? Probably. I mean, like. You know. That's how things are. Sometimes there's blood. In the morning, you usually remember glimpses of your dream. You know a few things. First, they are always both terrifying and inescapable. Second of all, the man from your nightmares is standing on the other side of the street, looking for you. Get him. Oh, well, getting closer, you start panicking as the situation uh, starts to resemble your nightmares. Finally, you reach a breaking point and run in fear. Oh, sad. I mean, we're, we're gonna rest some more. We gotta get, we gotta get our, gotta get our reason back. We'll probably rest twice. Our doom's ticking up, but better than just dying. So let's uh, let's order, let's order some ramen, shall we? An empty bottle smashes against the wall behind you. Cover yourself in the glass fragments. You notice a massive assailant holding a baseball bat. Ryder, I barely knew her. All right, let's take a look. See what, see what her story is all about. Prepare a big, big, big attack. Oh good, she takes more damage to Josh. Even with a baseball bat, it sucks. Her power and damage increase with Doom. Okay, that's bad for us. Uh, one of the main disturbed people they see increasing chaos as a way of venting rain. Alright, well, spoop, boop, miss. She burnt me? You receive additional combat damage. Brutal. Bench prescription. Uh, alright. Where you could fill out a prescription like this? Nowhere, because everywhere is closed. I'm going to think. What does this do? Faster combat actions. Oh. Always a way. See me in a hopeless situation. And fame would have been so good. Quick thinking, I'm gonna get some reason. Let's go. I'll resolve the combat. I'm gonna do this. Can I discard it? I can't discard it. Okay, well. It's a trinket? Oh! I was gonna discard it so I get a better ending, but I can't do that. I'm looking much worse. When you enter the metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package uh, on the seat opposed to you, opposite of you. It's Mark with your name. When you reach for the package, you stop suddenly. Seeing a familiar face in a nearby advertisement, truly, really, truly evil, has your scent now. Well, with a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out uh, without tasting the weird dish. All right, with the pulling of some of the delicate strings, you get the ramen into the lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Just, just that. 
Uh, a mere day later, your friend rings your door. Her face is pale and shaky hands. She holds the analysis sheet. You, uh, you usher her in the bolt. You usher her in and bolt the door. Blech. You feel ill looking at the charts. You could identify some of the particles. They did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. We got bopped because we have no friends. A week later, the police government officials over with the ramen restaurant. Nothing used to be. Nothing remains at the gap of the street. Customers. Uh, you'd like to believe it's the end of it all, but simply some newspapers. With other cities unsettling you. Brief articles about new restaurants opening and mysterious owners showing up. You can no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. Stop. Uh, preparing for the worst. People are stocking up at everything, making it... Alright, everything's more expensive. That's fine. We can't buy anything anyways. There's no options for us. Nothing in there still. Bath time though. Gonna get ourselves a little bit more reason. Let's dive in. Let's flood it. Freakish fable of a frightening flood. A group of researchers from a university in Tokyo are researching a curious rock formation. It was discovered a few weeks ago by tourists in the village next to Shiokawa. You read about it in a newspaper. The sudden disappearance of the tourists was subject to school gossip for days, but ultimately no one was found. The rock formation must somehow connect to the events happening in your town. Feeling that the researchers can help you, you decide to pack yourself a visit to the village yourself. Let's take a look. Onto the bus. Get off the bus. And we got a guy following us. There he is. We're not going to look at this guy. He's always here. Damn, is he a sweaty man. Get out of here, sweaty man. Good stuff. Alright, you managed to defeat the mysterious assailant. He flees into the woods before you can tear up his mask. Just who was that? Take a look at this first. You can see the rocks in the curious formation, the bridge leading to the village. There's the researchers are nowhere to be seen. Did the weather scare them off? I don't know. Alright, we're here. We're hanging out with this guy. We gotta go to the school to check out where our friend is. These are the lovely people. We rest. No time to rest. Alright. Let's go. Into the school. A tall woman with an unsettling face twitching lip stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Yes, ma'am. We have no luck. Creepy substitute teacher hands you a dusty old lot of biology specimens. The rancid smell of formalin almost makes you drop the jar. Should fetuses have so many legs? Probably not. We got some research notes. Okay, you managed to find the class Matsuzan was talking about. The researchers are gone, but hopefully you found a way to look at them. Alright, let's go to the forest. Let's take a look at the forest first. Follow the trail right in front you stumble upon the Fall Forest Shrine. Probably dedicated to some local spirit. The small statue looks alien and menacing. Looks like a hot dog. Oh my god. To your horror, you discover a severed hand behind the statue. Okay, check it in. The abandoned hut. Hey, it's good old father, uh, father Yasugi. Uh, uh, all right. Well, you only pick up the smallest of boxes, uh, but the whole thing takes more than you ex uh, takes more time than you expected. Afterwards, it invites you inside for a hot cup of tea, home baked cookies, uh, made by one put with permissioners. All right. Well, he gives us some reason. A little bit of doom too, but that's okay. Managed to find one of the researchers, Kara UT. Go to the inn. Trail, uh, the trail to an abandoned uh, Shito shrine is overgrown and steep. However, it could be an important place to investigate. Let's take the safe route. Taking the safe route costs you time, but you get to the top without incident. Burnt out candles, wax, dried blood around the shrine means new. Sinister cult is claimed location. Alright, well, fun. It's a little bit more uh, village action. 
You can see a dog chewing on something in the distance. Is that a human? No! Oh my god. Well, let's let's view this good boy before we absolutely die. Uh, can we leave? You can't run from this encounter. Oh my god. Uh, this dog's going This dog's gonna get us. All right, a domesticated animal corrupted by a slowly awakening old god. He was a good boy. Well, I need to dodge. I need to slap slap. I need to slice. Good. Dodge. Slice. Dodge. Slice. All right, Dark Souls him. Got him, poor little guy. He's a cutie, it did not deserve that. Alright, research is missing. They're still missing. Okay, well, let's take a look. We gotta find her. Gotta find the Shriner. Where's she at? She's not a Shriner. She just is at the Shrine somewhere. Unseasonal floods. Okay, listen. Is it unseasonal? We found the geologist. Let's get the hell out of here. the village. All villages in this pool, where are they? Oh, well. Get closer to the bridge leading out of the village. Masuda Sen suddenly stops. I, I know this too. Damn it. Before you can react, he begins to undress and run towards the darkness. Shocked, you begin to hear a faint moaning coming from the rock formation. What you see there feels unreal. The villagers are naked. They're dancing around the pillars as something slowly emerges from the river. Yeah, we did. We dead. Uh, one plus one combat damage plus one combat damage. Pretty funny, but like, can't really do much about it. Uh, yeah, maybe we can, uh... This? Just give it a, no, no, a kick. We'll uh, do a tap stab. Step stab. There we go. And a step stab. Good. Sun rises again. The river level lowers, uh, leaving the field fertile. In nine months, a new generation of Kebara villagers will be born. With your mind broken after the ritual, you'll be kept alive. At least until the day your child is born. Brutal. Well, that was our little challenge run. Obviously, it ended in failure. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. Have a good one.